Hello everybody, in this video I would like to show to you how to apply a template smithing using OpenCV in Python. We will use a template smithing to find the small image or a template's image in the larger image. In this video, I am using this rubric image as the larger image and for the template's image or the small image, I crop at some location on the larger image. Using the template's matching function from OpenCV, we will able to find the template's image in larger image as shown by the red rectangle in this image. Let us first import the libraries. Next, we open the large image and the template's image. Let us preview these two images and check the image size. We can apply a template matching using the cv2.match template built-in function. There are three inputs argument. The first one is image, which is the larger image. The second input argument is the template's image or the small image that we want to find in large image. And the third input argument is the template's matching method. There are six template's matching method that you can use. You can check it in the documentation. Basically, this method will do some calculation and return some value. Let us now preview the template's matching result using the plt I'm show function. Uh, image on the left is the result of template matching and image on the right is the large image. The bright yellow color on the left image represents the maximum value, while the black color represents the minimum value from the calculation using template matching building function. This bright yellow color or the maximum value show us the location of the template's image on the large image. We can get the location of this maximum value and then we will use the location to draw rectangle that represent the template's image. Here I'm using cv2.minmaxlogs built-in function. This function will return four outputs, minimum value, the maximum value, the location of minimum value, and the location of maximum value. The max underscore log variable has two values. The first value here is the location in the horizontal direction from left to right. And the second value here is the location in the vertical direction or from top to bottom. Here I draw a rectangle using cv2.rectangle built-in function. img input argument is our large image. pt1 is the top left point of the rectangle. PT2 is the bottom right point of the rectangle. Color is the border color and thickness is the border thickness. The max underscore log variable is our top left point and for the bottom right point, we simply add the top left point with a width and height of our template image. Finally, we show the result using plt.imshow. Okay, here's the result. And this rectangle represents the location of the template's image in this large image. You can use cv2.imread function to save the result image. I put this Jupyter notebook file in my GitHub library. You can visit it. I will put this link in the this video description. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.